All right, welcome back. We're looking at Math 8. Today we're looking at Math Unit 1, Lesson 2, called Naming the Moves. And today's lesson was really about, like it says here, being more precise about describing the moves when a shape is moved from one position to another. So you learned words today in class like translations, rotations, reflections, and you probably also talked about having corresponding parts. So I want to review a little bit of that with you today, just as kind of a way of recapping today's lesson before we move into today's homework corrections. So the first one said quadrilateral A can be rotated into the position of quadrilateral B. To do that, you had to have a couple points here. And again, it's a review. You had to have um, a, a place where you would have a what we call a vertex or a center of rotation. In order to move an object, you want to have a place where everything stays the same at. And so in this case here, we're going to keep that point exactly the same and want you to, to estimate the angle of rotation. And by doing that, what we're looking at is saying to move this shape into this position, how far are we moving? And so what you want to think about is if this is my corresponding points here to here, I have this line right there. That's my initial line A and it's going to be moving to this position here which is the bottom of that shape. Just to show you that's the same shape, what I mean by that is let's say I take uh, my tracing paper here and we draw this shape like so and so and so. In order to get this shape to this position I can put my pencil down on my center of rotation I'm going to be spinning it, not just to there, that doesn't line up yet, but I'm gonna keep spinning it all the way over there until my corresponding parts, or these two corresponding lines, are in the same position. So now I'm in a good spot there. So what it's asking is how far am I gonna rotate from here all the way over to here? Or, basically what we're looking at is, what is the measurement of that angle from there to there? And again, what you wanted to do, hopefully you got one of these out, is you took a protractor and you lined up your bottom line and you put your center point there. And when you did that, you notice you're about 120 degrees to go from here all the way to there at 120. So you start at zero, where you start at, moving around to 120 degrees is how much that angle rotated there. And that's kind of how you started your lesson today. Then you took a look at some different uh, shapes and you talked and described about how these shapes were moving from one position to the next. Trying to use some, some good words there. So if I'm looking at the shape one being a left hand corner to go to the right hand corner to go from here to here, I could call that a shift to the right because that's what's happening there. But to go from here to here, suddenly things look a little different. I didn't just shift from the right to the left, now I changed the, the whole shape the way it's pointed. Look at this like point here. It's pointing this way towards the left. But when I look here, now it's pointed to the right. Because what's taking place is we have really a ref what we call a reflection. And whenever we have a reflection, we consider that to be a new move. It's a new move because it's like starting over. It's not the same shape quite the way it once was quite anymore, right? I take this shape here and I just draw a little sketch of it. And there's my shape. And what's happening from here to here is it's not just that it's sliding from one place to the next, but instead this shape right here is flipping over in order to land on that one. So it's a little re reflection over reflection line. And that's what you talked about in your class as well. So that reflection line, I'm gonna draw one right here, is that place at which the shape reflects from one side to the other. Might be a vertical or a horizontal, hard to say. This one here is a vertical one, so it reflects over there. So that's my, my new shape here. To go from there to there, because I'm already in the corner, I'm gonna do a rotation or a turn. So I might say I'm turning 90 degrees, I might say I'm rotating 90 degrees, but I'm ro turning 90 degrees clockwise because I'm going to the right. To go from this one to this one, this becomes just another uh, slide. In this case here, I'm shifting up. So I would say it's a shift up, a vertical way. And then when I get to the last one here, once again, I'm back to having a 
my guy right there and I'm gonna be changing the whole way it faces so I'm gonna be doing a reflection a flip of some sort there to make that happen and so we would probably also want to call this one a new move because it is a reflection in this case once again so you're just describing those things and again this is something that you did in class so ways that you describe that and your teacher probably described that quite well and then you had some time to play with some card sorts and maybe you were playing with uh, some actual cards I wanted to show you the one that's in the on the online version as well it's kind of fun and so you had a picture like this and it said to take the little red dot which is right here and to see what happens if I take this red dot and I slide it we can see that I'm having a translation there as that one is sliding from one position to the next right so we would call this a translation as it moves from one position to the next in the next set of cards we have this one here and this would be considered a rotation it looks like it's kind of flipping and you probably could flip it and slide it and reflect it to get there but this one was set to show you what a rotation oops sorry would look like and in rotation when I grab this little guy here I'm going to spin the whole thing around and I'm rotating it and I can rotate it this way rotate it that way but the idea is is that I have my one point right here my center that doesn't move and everything is rotating around that point to make that rotation take place and then finally our other one here because there's a reflection going on here this one is going to be reflecting over this line right here so I have my corresponding points the points here and I have down there and it's going to reflect over this red line segment there so when I do that there it says move the yellow points and the and the red is going to see how it changes if I go there uh, that's not going to quite work what that does though is now the blue thing is reflecting over there let's reset that real quick what if I move my line there let's, see, let's move this guy to here Does that work sure let's show the image oh it doesn't show you it's too far away let's try this one a little bit closer let's go here here oh i know let's make it smaller and smaller and let's see we should be able to reflect over that and we should flip it this way show me hey there we go and so the idea here is that we're finding different ways to reflect that image across a line there so in summary of the lesson, before we get to today's homework, we talked about some definitions here, being more precise with our language, that a translation slides a figure without turning it. And that's what we saw in our image before. We're just sliding it without turning it, moving from one to the other. A rotation turns a figure about a point called the center of rotation. And we make that rotate either clockwise or counterclockwise. And then we talked about, finally, a reflection places points on the opposite side of a sorry opposite sides of a reflection line so if I have my reflection line and my corresponding points are on opposite sides there and here's my sides my sides my sides opposite sides so that was what today's lesson was essentially about let's take a look now at your homework problems that go with unit one lesson two today so to do this first one it said you had six cards here and it says which pair of cards shows a shape and its image after a rotation now rotation is going to be a one where we're going to do a little little bit of a turn of some sort right so a rotation and so you could look at the ones at least match these shapes at least match a little bit here they're the same shape and we can see that from this one to this one we're going to be rotating clockwise I'm oh, sorry, counterclockwise, counterclockwise, 90 degrees to go from here to here. So counterclockwise turn, 90 degrees. We would say one and four. Number letter B, which pair of cards shows a shape in its image after a reflection? Remember that reflection is going to be that the corresponding parts are on opposite sides of that line of um, the line of symmetry or our, our reflection point there. And so I like to look at when I look at this one doesn't reflect these guys this is a slide to go from here to here we're just sliding down that way so that's not going to work so i'm left looking at this piece and this piece if i was to draw this one here it looks like this here 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 and here 
and we can see that what we have is basically a reflection from one to the other. So our reflection ones would be three and five for our reflection. For number two, it says the five frames show us shapes different positions. Describe how the shape moves to get from its position in each frame to the next. So the different ways to describe this, up to you what kind of words you want to use here, but to go from one to two, we would call that a, it's moving to the right, it's a slide to the right, a shift to the right, but it's definitely translating to the right. To go from this one, which looks like this, when we draw it there, to there, we are doing, in that case here, we're doing a flip over a horizontal line. So there's a flip there to go from this one to that one. This would be a slide right, oops, slide right to a flip here. Now to move from this one to this one, let's draw it real quick. Which is, this is where three is at, three's here. We're gonna be sliding left. So we're gonna slide left there, no problem. And for our last one, here we are starting point here. We are going to also, once again, be doing a flip over that horizontal line. All right. For number three, it says that the rectangle that is seen in frame one is rotated to a new position seen in frame two. So this shape right here is moved from this position to this position. And it's asking us all the ways that it could have been rotated from one to two. All right, so I'm gonna just draw it right here because it's a little trickier to see as I move my, my paper down, sorry. We're going from this one to that one. So here are my options here of 40 degrees clockwise. That would mean that this part is moving this direction down 40 degrees. If that was the case, it would look something like this in terms of the angle. Well, that's not going the same way, is it? It's going the wrong way. So we'd say no to that one. 40 degrees counterclockwise. Well, that would be going up this way, which would force it to pivot this direction. Again, something you could draw real quick, right? I could draw this sketch and I could say, well, if that's where I'm at, let's rotate it 40 degrees counterclockwise around a point, whoop, and we end up with something that looks a lot like our other one, doesn't it? Again, back up here, here's my shape. I pivot it, and we end up with what we have right there. So we'd say yes to that one for sure. 90 degrees would put it straight up and down like that, and that's not what we have, so we'd say no to 90. 90 degrees counterclockwise as well, same thing, up and down, not going to work. Now 140 degrees is interesting because that means we're going to start here, we're going to have a point, right, and we're going to move it counterclockwise 140 degrees. That's a long ways counterclockwise, right, a long ways counterclockwise. So this is my line, let's say this is my line right here, and I'm going to move it 140 degrees this way. Well, let's see what 140 degrees is from there first of all. If I measure this real quick, just for fun, I could say that 140 degrees is gonna be here on this line. So there's my point there. So we end up with something along this, uh, oops, sorry, this line here. So if I was to take this shape and pivot the bottom side of it all the way over there, what would it look like? Well, it looks like that. And that's gonna be counterclockwise, right? So that's counterclockwise. So I went counterclockwise there. So counterclockwise, we would say no to that one. It can't be counterclockwise. I'm out of order, sorry about that. So I went counterclockwise, no to there. Could it be clockwise though? Well, let's take a look. If I go clockwise 140 degrees, that would mean I take my protractor over here and I go upside down. So I'm gonna start at zero and go to 140, which is right here. So let's draw this line right there. 140, 140. So we're saying something like, this is 140 degrees from here to here. So now if I pivot that shape to this next line, all the way to there, there I am. Does that match that? We would say yes. So we can go 140 degrees clockwise to make that same shape. Hopefully it helps you out a little bit with your homework. And if you have any questions, just check in with your teacher. Great job.